story we first told you about last night on Fox 10 News at 9 p.m. Investigators say the victim got into an argument with Nathaniel Arrington, who pulled out a pistol and started firing. The victim was hit in the neck and the lower part of his body. He was taken to Spring Hill Medical Center, treated, and released. Arrington was found at a restaurant on Azalea Road. He is charged with second-degree assault. A mobile man is in jail accused of trying to meet an underage boy for sexual acts. Sarah Land police made the bust yesterday. Fox 10 News reporter Chastity Bird reports. 24-year-old Matthew Hopper is charged with electronic solicitation of a child and traveling to meet a child for an unlawful sex act after an investigation by Sarah Land police. It, it came from an internet crimes against children complaint and you know he followed up on it and you know we made an arrest yesterday afternoon. Corporal Arlen Gaines says he can't go into detail about the initial contact with the underage boy, but says agents took over the conversation after the complaint was filed. It is not just this individual that's being investigated. It's several other in investigations are, that are going on at this time that we, you know, we don't want to jeopardize by putting too much information out there. Gaines says he can tell us the contact was made on a social media site and that a meeting was set up. That's where Hopper was arrested. We went to Hopper's home in Mobile, but no one answered. A neighbor, however, was very outspoken. I mean, I've known for about 25 years. I mean, they seem to be decent people from what I know. But seeing that, if it's true, you need to get off our street because there's all these kids are around. Matthew Hopper remains in Mobile Metro Jail. Reporting from Mobile County, Chastity Bird, Fox 10 News. Hopper also faces a charge of giving a false name to law enforcement.